Hey guys, just some days ago, President Biden sanctioned import of Russian vodka. This is cola, local Russian cola. Stay tuned and see a lot of Russian products as things get tighter here in Russia. Hello guys, welcome to another vlog. My name is Rob Dukan. Today I'm taking you guys to Ashan. Ashan is one of the biggest retail shops here in Moscow. In this video, I'll tell you guys what we can get with 5,000 robots after two months of sanction. 5,000 robots. This is a massive sum. This used to be the biggest note in Russia. Back in the Good old days, 5,000 robots used to be close to 100 bucks. So guys, I'll take you guys and just show you guys my personal shopping, what you can get with this. Before we continue, please uh, smash a like on the video. If you want these videos uh, on a weekly basis, I'll do them for you, but I need your support too, so you guys know what's going on in Russia. So uh, with that said, let's just uh, start up our shopping. So she's not it, right now. So that's 115 per kilo of banana. Green apples is like, see that a kilo, 100 rubles. And this is what I want to buy. I will take some of these apples. I do love these apples. And uh, 379 rubles, 380 rubles for this, which is crazy. I will take like two kilograms of apples here. The price is 109. And uh, yeah, let's see what the prices will be for apples here. 306 for almost three kilograms of apples. One of the cheapest articles you have here in Russia are potatoes. Potatoes and carrots are the cheapest stuff you can get in Russia, but now carrots a kilo is like 80. Onions also can be cheap, but it's 39. Dressed. If you have this kartoshka, do varki, a better quality potatoes, and you can see that a kilogram is 269.9 to 70. So let's go to vegetables. These are vegetables. You do have. Uh, Celery, it's 99 for one. So this is 100 robots. This used to be quite cheap And uh, now it's 99 for one, but I'll just take this and tomatoes one of the best to, uh, to, Slavish, to make salad and the tomatoes are uh, uh, a kilogram here of tomatoes here. It's a hundred and fifty hundred and sixty robots so we have pumpkins. Pumpkins, it's a kilogram, it's 49 rubles pumpkin. And this is what I usually eat. Sweet potatoes and it's called bat batat. Kilogram is 250. And there we go. There's, there's still a lot of food to eat here. Cabbage, onions for salads and uh, yeah. <laughs> So the guy behind me is saying that due to the high prices, soon the guy which I'm speaking behind, he works for this company, says so soon there will be a lot of fraudulent going on, so fake products will be in the market and that will uh, cost up the, these guys to, to get very low quality from the same brand, just in order to hold, hold the, the brands here in Russia. Wow, so now you will be little And in the percent will be Percent, сколько percent? 30. Ah, and you will see that. Yeah, yeah. 20, 30, 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Robles. So guys, I want to buy my stuff. I do like granites, so I'm going to take this. Other thing I want to say is, those who don't understand the way sanctions works, many think because the production is done domestically, the prices wouldn't go up. But that's not the way economics works. Factors like high energy prices and gas does influence local production massively. So this is 50 robles more expensive than usual. Yes. Okay, okay. But let me take this. In such situations, you always have to go for one city. Serious, this and discounts. Most of the discounts are products which are done in Russia. This, I remember just a year ago, this was like a hundred robles. We have this fruit taste here, 40, 43, which is the cheapest. Most of these places, these prices, they uh, seem to be uh, quite expensive. 180 rubles is quite expensive for a price here of eating here in Russia, considering that the average income in Moscow is now has been brought down due to the exchange rate to maybe 500 euros or less. 
yeah. It's an organic bio Italian tomato. It's uh, see that 276 and uh, coconut oil 270 72 and bake some baked beans depends on which of them you want 250 vinegar 337 and you have all these snacks here which are european snacks i often like this but you know maybe it. there you go So coming back here, these are the vitamins, right? You have these sweet vitamins where people normally like to use them. You can see the prices, calcium 500 milligram, which is 85 rubles. Prices here have massively gone up, that's clear. So let's talk about children food. Malich, which means uh, kids, 100 and almost 200 robots. You have uh, anti-pro. This were, I remember some years ago, they were like 200, 200 and something robots. Now it's 500. You have Nestil also for kids, which is porridge for kids. So the whole idea of this video is just to show you guys the prices here. So these are the first kids. When, you, when I had my first son, this was like 12 rubles. So you have juices here, nyanya frukta. And this and drinking water for kids. Since the last COVID outbreak, there have been a new sector of uh, employment, which is the delivery group. There are a lot of delivery clubs and one of the most famous on these grocery stores are Sibir Dostavki. So in Russia, you see these guys who are kind of on green here, they have their bank market, they are delivery guys. You can stand online and order food through them and they will buy and send it to you. So let's go to the areas where macaroni are located, let me say. So what do we have here? Yeah, before the sanctions, all of this were below 100 rubles. They were like 80. So there's a clearly 40% increase in prices at this point. Здравствуйте. Они на сколько процентов были те? Да, да. Два. Что? Где? Серьезно? Да. А, да, это все это. Тоже это, да? Так а чему? Везде сейчас. Везде будет так. Вот. Серьезно? What the guy there is trying to say is that soon there will be a massive amount of fake products in the Russian market but still bearing the same brand name. Why? Because the cost of doing a real original product is more expensive to an extent that people are in folks will be ready to buy cheaper products of the same brand so lower quality. So as I was saying this were these are low and spaghetti macaroni they are locally made not import local Russian brands that's why you see the prices are quite cheap I don't know the difference but I'm sure the difference goes with the prices what you have this what Russians call the shire when I came to this country it used to be five rubles so my cheese you have viola which you guys know here yeah. you have uh, if there's anything you know about Russians, you know they are a huge consumer of meat. So let's go down and check the prices of baked meat and uh, also, I love this sauce. So this is uh, chicken legs, 245. I'll go for two of them. So guys, let's check out the Western brands like Coca-Cola, Fanta and uh, Give you guys an overview of the prices here. So you have Fanta with 76 rubles and Sprite similar, Sprite Ice and also Sprite similar. Coca Cola, the smaller bottle is like 76. This used to be, these are just like 50% because this used to be 30 something rubles. Yeah, and when you come down, you get one liter of Pepsi, let's say 60, it used to be like 30, 50% increase. This is local Coca Cola, <laughs> media in Russia. So the guys which you see behind me have just explained to me the way the prices work nowadays. They said the prices do change, that during the day the prices are a little bit up and in the evening, especially for perishable goods, the prices can change. Right? That, that's the, the strategy which the, the bigger retailers are doing in order to, to get some profit. So the prices are not like standard. It depends on what exactly you, you, are, you are buying. If they are perishable goods, the prices will fluctuate daily. So guys, just some days ago, President Biden sanctioned Russian vodka. And uh, I want to know the prices of Russian vodka now in this mall. It will be cheap, it will be a bit cheaper than usual. So these are all local made. Vodka. You have Talki, Sibirsky, it's 324, 300 rubles. 
So these are foreign brands here and Jack Daniels, I want to tell you, some a, thing, a decade ago, uh, President Putin encouraged uh, foreign brands to do productions in Russia. So most of these brands, while they may be labeled as foreign brands, they are mostly done in Russia. But from the price, you can see this teacher, it's important. Let's go to Jack Daniels. I think I saw Jack Daniels. That's a bottle of Jack Daniels. The prices are there. And this is a good one also. 12 proper. So we are the beer section here. These are mostly chocolate. These are Russian beers. The prices are more or less. The prices are dropping. See, it used to be 63 and now it's 46. But the foreign brands here, like Tesla, which is Dutchless, we know better. Same we have. Uh, I think it's what. Ah, здравствуйте. Hello. Это русский, да? Это русский бренд. Производство? Да. Сейчас посмотрим. Там же цена вообще демократический. Ну, объем же большой тоже. Демократический, я имею в виду, что он недорого. Ну, у каждого, правда, на свой вкус и цвет, как да. говорится. Ого, ого. Да, это а, наше. А это? Интересно, смотри, пожалуйста. Сейчас проверим. Здесь завод да. в Германии. Неме немецкий, да. Немецкий. Немецкое so, пиво. Спасибо mm -hmm. большое. Пожалуйста. So this is German. You can see the price. I don't drink beers. I, I do it maybe during summer when it's hot. But so this is German. You can see, and this is Russian. And you can see the prices here, right? So German because it's import is like three, three thirty, and Russia is like less than fifty percent the price. The same, uh, the same size. And that's what I'm trying to say. So I don't know about you guys. I'm a fan of wine. I'm not a Lugoso fan, but it's quite expensive now. The prices here have gone up. But uh, let's go. Let's check out the. This is when you call Russian vino. It's a vino done in Crimea. You know the. You guys, check my videos on Crimea. I do have a lot of videos of Crimea. This is done in Krasnodar. Yeah, I can condole you guys to check my videos about Krasnodar and Napa. And uh, we have Georgian wines here. You have Abkhaz, which is closer to Georgia as well, wines here. So uh, Russians do have their local wines production as well. And when you go for Italian brands, you have Vino Rosso which is also a good uh, brand. But this is what I like. If I had to buy, I would go for Islano Negra. The prices are up by 200 robots today. Um, yeah, so this is a, a bigger bottle of Drivinsky cream, so old ancient cream here. Yeah. So let's check white wines, foreign uh, white wines. Not much to say Yeah but generally the prices are up. If we do have girls in these videos, females, I know women do love this, this wine. So we're going to the section where bread is sold. If bread is so expensive, that means something is wrong because bread in Russia has been the cheapest product for a long time. They have various varieties and uh, I just uh, believe that's the sector which will actually signal if things are going in the wrong direction in terms of price. So let's just check it out. We have local bread price. This used to be the cheapest bread here for 25, 21. This is uh, not the worst bread. Back in the days, that was far cheaper. Then you have better quality of bread here, which uh, I'm, I'm gonna have this. How much is it? 85 French bread, what they call baton, black bread, and uh, garlic. So I didn't intend to buy this. I just did, did this for the video. Let's do some Western biscuits before we go. And mind you guys, most of these are locally made. So I think due to tax reasons, the prices will not be crazy. So before we close the video, I just want to tell you guys that I told you that this grocery store is one of the biggest, right? The concept yes is that they, they provide all type of services. If you come here, you're hungry, you can as well eat. They do have a Pepsi beverage and also coffee. Provide daily feeding, not only fast food, but food. I don't know how it is in Canada, in the US or in the Western world, but but if you come here for shopping, you can basically feed yourself as well. So as we're boiling down to the end of this video, my conclusion is that there have been an increase in price of 30% of uh, food stock in general. I think it's going to get worse if things continue on this trend, to be honest. I mean, I'm not scaring anyone. Yeah, guys, if you did like the video, please uh, smash 
the like button and uh, yeah what can i say talk to you soon bye bye so my final cost or expenditure which the video is all about i spent 4105 robos and that's roughly 51 dollars us and it was a very interesting uh, shopping experience with you guys ciao ciao